Hello. So this is a video for radical notes. Um, so a radical is a square root. Um, but sometimes you can have other roots, like third or fourth. So the way to do that is with an exponent, or sometimes we call it like a power, the power, like third power or whatever. So um, we're going to do two examples, and then you're going to try them on your own. And then Mr. Robert also has a video. So one, we'll do square root of x minus four plus three. So plus three to that equals four. And because this is math class, we're going to use sad map. <laughs> and then today the e is like this exponent and radical by the way. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is add or subtract. So I'm going to take care of that 3. It's plus, so I'm going to do minus x minus 4 under my square root is equal to 1. So I did that. I don't have any numbers that are dividing or multiplying right now, so I can't do that. So then I'm going to like jump to my exponent. So if I have a radical, I need an exponent. So I want to write that. Have radical need exponent. So what's not <laughs> written is the index. Um, so this is called the index. And the index on a regular, regular radical or square root is assumed to be 2. It's similar like 1x versus x. We just don't write it. And so for all of these, the index is assumed to be 2. You can, though, so for example, maybe you remember this from Algebra 1-2 100 years ago. You can have a, th a, th a cube root, is what this is called. And so to undo this, I need to square it. To undo this one, I would need to cube it. Mm -hmm. So the numbers need to match. Okay, so that's why we, we do a, a, the exponent, the square. So the right-hand side isn't very exciting because 1 times 1 is just itself 1. But please notice that once I get rid of, like, once I take care of this root, I don't have it anymore. So I did that, and then I'm going to sort of reset. I just have to add or subtract to be my final step. Okay. So one thing that I haven't been showing very well, and that's my own fault, is the check. So here's what's going on. We have some square root on a graph and I'm asking when is that like function when is that line crossing 4 and so that happens when x is 5 so if I plug it in 5 minus 4 plus 3 I want to know if that really equals 4 so I'm going to do this underneath oh <laughs> that's nice it's 1 sometimes it's not as nice so the square root of 1 is 1 I'm going to only take the positive because of reasons. <laughs> um, yeah, so it works, so therefore my solution's correct. Okay, so the next one, it looks bad, but it's really not that bad. But we know that things that look intimidating maybe might deter us from practicing them. Speaking as a math teacher, oops. Okay, so the other thing I'm going to rewrite is my sad map. And remembering that I'm explicitly working with my exponent today because I have radicals. So uh, same thing. I don't have anything to add or subtract. I don't have anything to divide or multiply. I just see these like two very large, right, <laughs> radical symbols. And so I'm going to sort of do that first. And so I'm going to square both sides. So then when that happens, I just get this stuff out. Pretty nice. I mean, all things considering. So then I'm going to sort of like reset sad map. Okay. So 
dun, 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 let's do green. So I'm going to sort of do add or subtract. Um, I'm going to move my 2x first. Sometimes I move the, like, the numbers first. I'm not sure why I do that sometimes. Okay, and then I'm still here, right? I'm still, like, adding or subtracting. So I'm going to plus 1, plus 1, 6 equals x. Great. Awesome. So then I'm going to check because maybe I messed up and I sometimes mess up. So let's do pink. So 2 times 6 plus 5. Does that really equal the square root of 3 times 6 minus 1? I don't know. So again, the 6 is from my solution. Okay, and then we have to simplify. Oh dear. 12 plus 5. Oh, is that 17? Oh, I don't know what that is. Um, but um bum 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 bum. 18 minus 1. Oh look. Yes. Okay. So it doesn't really matter that I don't know the decimal approximation for 17 off the top of my head. I'm not actually a robot. It's like four point something. Um, this is enough. Yeah? So <laughs> hopefully that doesn't feel too horrible um and yeah this is a little well let's start it off cute okay bye